Welcome back everyone to another toy review, or should I say Glios review? It's turning into more of just a Glios theme, but I'm gonna keep it as toy review. You never know what we're gonna start getting on this channel. But today I've got another really cool Onel Designs figure that I wanna go over, and that would be the Skeletons. Now, as we're opening these things up and looking at some of the different aspects of them, let's go over some of the history of the Skeletons themselves. Skeleton is based on the Onel's character, The Traveler, and it was released in Wave 43 of February 2015. It is a collaboration between Matt Doughty of Onel Design and George Gaspar of October Toys, and he is featured in the game Dungeon Traveler. The figure was used in a promotional piece in the brand new Kickstarter campaign for the classic 90s property, Skeleton Warriors. This piece contains a brand new rollout of the new slide-on armor for the figures themselves. This new accessory to the O'Neill's Glios line had been in the process for some time and in the collaboration was perfected for the release. The skeleton had a mashup of inspirations pulling from previous O'Neill properties and the new Skeleton Warriors game with a dash of Spawn-esque and Lovecraftian themes. But my favorite part with the armor and accessories has to be the axe. This thing is just way too BA with that weapon edition and it just pushes it over the edge for one of my favorites. Skeleton currently holds a record for the most revisions and rounds of tests taking over a year to finalize and it shows. The passion and time that Matt and George put into this figure really comes through with an amazing look, feel, and structure. You can just tell some real effort was sunk into this design. But you know me and my aesthetic, you know I had to go for the classic translucent green figure from Wave 45. This is the Neo Phase Skeleton with its variation in green shade. It just has such a cool underworld vibe to it. I just could not pass it up. But then I spotted the bone version. This is the Olcroft mutation. The detail that comes through on this guy really looks amazing. And it's such an awesome piece to have. And since this was in wave 47, released in July of 2015, I'm very fortunate to have grabbed him from another seller that had him brand new and sealed. Just look at this guy. With over 30 variations spanning across 15 different wave releases from 2015 to 2018, I'm sure you can tell why this is just such a successfully popular character that O'Neill and October Toys released into the Glios universe canon. These guys are amazing to pose to. They always have a hardcore look about them no matter which way you pose them, so it makes for some really unique uh, angles and shots to set these guys up in, which is just amazing. And of course, the detail on them just helps with all that that with reflections of light coming on them from anyway, these guys are always gonna look good. And trust me, I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for more different versions of this guy to add to my ever-growing Glios collection because, I mean, come on, how can you not dig the vibe of these guys? I hope you guys enjoyed another Glios toy review and I want to put out a question to you guys. Who should we be looking at next? Leave a comment down below. We've got a few options here to go over. Should we look at the well-loved new Outlander wave from Cappy Space? The classic armivores of O'Neill? Or the God Beast Biomass and Nemesis designs? Let me know in the comments and look for a poll in the community tab soon. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the opportunity to help vote on what thing we go over next. But thank you for making all the way through to the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and share around the Glios community. And we will see you guys in the next one.